Hey guys, so as I created the last video about holographic memory resolution and what a hologram is, I totally forgot to add in a little something extra about the structure of what we're operating by. Now I want to thank the great Chase Hughes for bringing this to my awareness about how to brainwash yourself and how brainwashing actually, how that structure works. Because everything that's manifested has a structure of its own. So we're breaking into our own structure and looking at our environment. We're also breaking into the structure of everything else. But I digress. He, Chase Hughes, breaks down this uh, formula for brainwashing yourself in the word fear. There's focus, so you focus on your intent. Environment, you change the environment in order to fit what you are focusing on, aggravate the situation. So this is where you get, uh, it, it, it joggles your mind into knowing that a shift has come. So if you notice, monks shave their heads, right? In the army, they shave your head, right? Aggravate, aggravate the circumstance. You may dye your hair. I do, you know, these kinds of things aggravate then the last is repetition you repeat this structure now looking at the past hologram image that we had which beam do you think this hits this is our object beam this is the structure as to where you get your belief systems from right this is how you brainwash yourself so I wanted to give this little insight here so you can see how you've already been brainwashed, what you've been brainwashed in, and how to break into that structure and change it. So then it can fit more of what that holographic image you want. Also, um, on the other note, when we're talking about that third light source that shoots through, I forgot uh, that then you look on the other side of the screen and you see the image, I forgot to mention that that third light is your point of view, that is your perspective. So this, again, quick video, use the object ray, the object beam in order to change your structure and everything else will follow suit. When you're connecting to that reference beam, you're connecting to the gods, goddesses, spirit guides, all that kind of stuff. But you're also connecting to your chakra system, your meridians, all of the vibrational frequencies that are already active within your what forms you as a being. Okay? And I think that can get a little bit confusing when we talk about, oh, well, another structure you talked about, frequencies. Yeah. So frequencies are what you are introducing into your perspective or into your environment. But what's already been introduced is already being introduced. That's your reference beam. That can't really be changed, right? I mean, I guess it could when you change your structure. I don't know yet, I'm still changing my structure. But regardless, this was a little bit more into how you can kind of dive into your unconscious and really be able to pick apart your own belief system and change that and therefore change your point of view and change the image of this world that you are seeing. Many blessings on your journeys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.